here on our planet, there are rangers. And there are frontiers. But there are habitats for both of these features. Here, top of the world, is an alien world. Here, while I thrive here, are the strangest habitats. These are the mountains. Here, many mountains as well, but right around across the globe. Here, people manage to explore them, but there's still more that have yet to be discovered. Here, these mountains used to be volcanoes, but now they have been dormant. So, they have become mountains. These mountains first started erupting 65 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. And here, this is how mountains were formed. Right now, there are so many volcanoes out there just waiting to erupt at any time now. And now, Lavas are forming. Since the levels were forming, mountains have been growing very big and become the tallest ranges ever. Here, mountains have been separated into continents based on where they are. Here, Ethiopia, one of the largest mountain ranges ever in Africa. Here, these were plateaus and very flat lands. Some grasses do grow, many of them do, so life has flourished. Here, many grasses have been growing each year to, 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 to make the soil of life continue throughout the earth. Since plants do thrive here, so, so do the wildlife. In fact, Ethiopia and mountains do support wildlife around here. Very rare ones indeed. A gelato baboon. Here, they're the only primates. In, 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 in these mountains. Here, the only diet was in grass. So in these plateaus, grass is the only option to survive.
video, the natural days, comes from grooming, eating, and on the lookout for danger. Here, Groom is the only way to show bars with each other and become friends. Here, main life is supported throughout the Ethiopias, and not just primates, the other herb world that thrive here is plateaus. While your eyebrows thrive here too, these are intentionally shy creatures and don't usually get a lot of attention lately. Here in Ethiopia, there's only a few of them left in the wild, just like to drill out of baboons. Here, yeah, they're, they're, they're mostly hunted, and they're almost at the edge to extinction. So, we shall learn a lot more about these creatures, and what we can do to save them. In, in, in Ethiopia, it's still a mystery uh, to all these creatures. Ethiopian wolves, the most rare wolves of all. Here, they're the most common predators of the Ethiopian mountains. And now, they're hunting their prey, which includes ibex.
Now the hunt is failing. Each wolf is chasing a different target. We start picking only one. This will make it easier for the Ibex to escape. The other Ibex has in trouble getting on its feet. But I still managed to outrun the wolf only to keep its footing. But this hunt is still not over yet. There's still hope for the wolves. The hunt had failed. The wolves went to find food elsewhere. These warrior Iraqs are safe for now, but they know these wars will always be back for them no matter what. So they must stay safe. Africa is not the only continent to support mountains with that. Other continents do support mountain life, even with wildlife. Here, South Central America, there's been a place known as the Andes Mountain Range. Here is the second largest mountain of all, maybe the highest mountain of all, according to humans. Here, many plants are growing here, so, so there are lots of vegetation out there. Here in the Andes, Usually warm, but later on, it might get colder in the winter. Sometimes snow might fall out. Right now, grass needs warmth to grow, or else no grass at all will be growing at the range. Even herbivores depend on these grasses for survival. Here, guangas dwell on the Andes. Here, they have a lot of open spaces. And that's the key to their survival to outrun enemies. Here, while they're grazing, they're on long necks. I have to keep a watch for eye out for predators. Right now, everything's peaceful.
a puma. Here, they're usually common in North America, but usually native to South America too. Here, small play what you do for these big cats. Sometimes, since they're big cats, big play with the ones to go, like llamas. She must hold on to the neck, not letting her play get away. It's powerful can't cut injure her, so she's been very careful. She has the full play to herself. Sometimes the rest will go to the Indian condor. We'll try to feed out the remains as a scavenger. But it now is to never mess with a puma. You have to wait until it's finished. And not just continents, the are home to mountain ranges, but also countries. Here in Asia, there are many countries of it. Oh, there's one continent. There's India, Russia, but, but the most expensive one 
that that that's a bit more popular was China. China is one of the rarest in the countries ever for many people living here, in fact millions. Here in China, the main habitats were well, not only the people, but the main world wildlife here, and the more popular ones. Here, there is really a big temple for us. But usually, uh, because the snowy areas of China, in fact, China might be warm and popular, but it does have seasons just like Earth does and many other habitats. Here is winter now. And may snow are falling into the forest. Here, the, 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 these are southwest forests of China. Here, not many life can survive here. But, there are some yetis here that people thought to exist here. Here, and yes, you don't exist here today. So, many people thought. But these yetis, they saw them walking on two foot. But the actual little primates that exist in these forests of winter. Golden snow nose monkeys. The Yetis of China. Here, many people thought that these monkeys cannot survive the winter, but they actually do. Here, their fur coats protect them from the harsh winter snow and freezing temperatures. Here, when it gets even more colder, they bond together for warmth. Here, they are on the floor searching for food, for fruit, buds, and leaves. Here, can on the floor usually a good thing, cause some fruit might have fallen here, where many leaves fall out of the trees during the fall. So, since for food on the floor is usually a good thing for these monkeys. Here, there's always danger in these mountains. These monkeys need to be aware of. Cause there are some predators on the floor waiting for the opportunity to hunt. A clouded leopard. A monkey predator. It's not hunting right now, but when it does, these monkeys need to be on special alert 
just in case. The only thing monkeys do to stay away from live boats is to move away from them as fast as they can. They move on to a better feeding source as both of them are one of the last predators. But these four are not the only things that support China wildlife here. Yeah. People are known as a habitat that's the most popular ever by wildlife, and that is the bamboo forest. Here, my baboons have been growing. And here, people are really supporting it to the wildlife around here for protection. Baboons are still being used in sports today. And these are going to provide food for wildlife and a support and shelter. This is also used for really endangered animals in China. Here, the sea drawn taken one of the most dangerous animals of all. Here, these animals are pretty shy around humans. And sometimes they've been really seen before. Almost really seen by humans. Here you see spend time if they move first with protection. Sometimes they'll live on rocky edges on the mountain ranges of the bamboo forest. But here there's sometimes water and rivers in these areas. And what is the key to survival for our animals? But have the more animals have been moved for us than taken. Red pandas dwell here too. For one or two, the liver is important in all life for these animals since the water is important to them to drink and to the key of natural selection. But usually, uh, they usually run to make way for the most dangerous animal of all, of China. A giant panda. It's one of the most dangerous animals of all around the planet. Here, the suffering habitat loss, sometimes poaching for the fur. 
The blue boy is also been pretty loud, but it's not usually good for the mothers. But now, the star is alive once again, even though they're still endangered. Right now, a lot of these animals are suffering the same effect too. They're still endangered. Right now, people are working to save them, make sure China thrive once again. We even know there's still a lot of work to be done to save these species from great extinction. But this mother is not alone. I was giving birth to a cub a few weeks ago. Right now, it's only two weeks old. It's still learning the traits from, from his mother. Yeah, the, 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 these pandas usually get the water from bamboos. Sometimes a little water the river can't hurt either. Having babies is important because it, it increases the pandas' population. If there weren't any cubs, the pandas were gonna extinct by now. So now, Cub exploring the world, how important is the early stage of life for a panda? <laughs> Even it means that's with other species. Sometimes conservation save these mountain ranges that how the wildlife and plants thrive. Here in North America, the Yasa National Park, people are doing all they can to learn about these amazing animals and make sure that they thrive once again so that new information can be recorded. Here, nature is handling pretty well right here at the parks as the animals make their way come back once and for all.
here are the most common here in, in, in Yellowstone because they are more outpopulation than ever. Here, I guess we recommend it's the best deer species ever. And they're still around here. But they'll still be hunted by humans and need all the protection they could to, to prevent from being endangered. There's not anything else on the Alex mind right now. Um. Grizzly bears do prey on elk sometimes, usually on the youngsters, but a full grown elk would do for now, especially for a female grizzly. The reason for hunting is for a cub. All grizzly bears are now living in Yasuo National Park for their protection. Now, they are free to hunt whatever they want, as long as it controls the elk population. And also, it will provide food for the young in case a salmon returns. Here, people usually experience climbing on mountains. In fact, they really do, and sometimes succeeded. Yeah, for a long time ago, people were trying to climb the, the tallest mountain of all in ancient Ethiopia or the Andes. It was actually Mount Everest. Here, it was over 1,000 meters, the tallest of them all, the tallest of all mountains. Here, it will probably take three weeks to succeed at climbing Mount Everest, since it's the tallest mountain of all. But actually, yeah. There are actually other mountains that are close to bigger than Mount Everest. And that has been known as the Himalayas. While China still have mountain ranges, there's also another mountain range.
as Veli Nauna, as Benauna, as the Himalayas, as Benauna, as it be the second high Vasana of all, next to Avlis. Here, many people try to climb it, some do succeed, while for Avlis, it will be nearly impossible. Also here in the Himalayas, there are Himalayan wildlife here. Here, many people thought that there are so many rare animals here, that there are some yet that had to be discovered. But there have been some that have been discovered by humans yet, as they're putting all the facts together to learn more about them and their natural surroundings. Here, the Himalayan tar thrive here. But they're the wild girls of the Himalayas. Those are the most endangered ones. Right now, they have to come to the Himalayas, their homes. But some people have come to the Himalayas and try to hunt them down. So right now, there's only a few of them left. And some are in conservation. So they're still left in the wild. So they may not survive at all. But at least conservation is trying hard to save them. But there are also other houses of the Himalayans, like the forest. Here, they're usually mountains, just some type of forest. But, they come out of mountains because the Himalayans are part of a mountain range. But one of these creatures are the Himalayan black bears. Here, they're sometimes scary the floor for termites. Termites like to hang out underground, so the bear's long claws help stick the dirt out of it, and then out comes the termites. Sometimes, if you can't find out termites, then go on a more simpler diet. Grass. Since they are nevertheless, they can eat much of anything from grass to meat to insects.
Hercules in the Himalayas, Gods with the Muscle Girls, Animals of All, Lily Catch on Film, and as we know, as the Big Cat, the Lily's Big Cat of All. The Snow Leopard, the Lily's Cats of the Himalayas. The mystery of his life has been a mystery for many people. They've been catching up for many times. There's still a lot to be discovered, but it's a rare cat. Here, they've been dwelling in China very often. It's been most of the time in the Himalayas. Himalayas once connected to China very often. And it's here, have become very connected countries. By now, it's living a, a very unique lifestyle as it used to be. Uh, Always hunting for food down the mountains.
These are not leopards. I will live in the mountains very often. Sometimes, mountains cling to huge changes due to people. Sometimes, the food is running out. Some predators may have to, may have to use livestock as prey, and that would be not good. The original prey is most important right now for the earth and for the mountains. Right now, we're going to go to make sure that these animals thrive in this weird habitat once and for all. Is that we leave the mountains alone, do our, do our own things with it, and let nature take care of its own.